Hi, welcome to War HQ. My name is Lucius, and as many of you know, I'm obsessed with epic scale games. Now, I'm looking at a different one today um, from Games Workshop originally, um, and that's called War Master. Now, War Master was originally released uh, back in 2000 uh, with the first edition, had a few supplements. 2010 saw the second edition, and then by 2017, the community had pretty much taken it over um, in its current iteration, which is War Master Revolution. And that combined elements of the original, like the second edition, but also of the uh, War Master Ancients rule set that GW released as well. So uh, what you can see before you at the moment is my Tomb King's army. So I've always wanted to get um, skeletons. I've always had an obsession with skeletons, but never really um, gone so in like Age of Sigma or Warhammer Fantasy Battle in the past. So... At the moment, uh, this is what I've got, and in this video, it's just going to be a quick one. I'm just going to go over it, and I'm going to show you about my, again, newfound obsession with another epic game. And this one is War Master Revolutions. Now, if you guys haven't already, uh, please consider subscribing to this channel. Uh, you know us here at War HQ. We've just successfully run our first tournament um, of Kill Team, and we're going to be having some content of that coming out pretty soon. Uh, your subscriptions mean a lot to us. Uh, we've had a little bit of a hiatus of uh, time. We haven't been able to do much, but we are getting back into it as we speak. So we expect more of this kind of content. Uh, with the War Master one here, what I'm going to do, this will be just a couple of part series. I'm going to show you the army I've got, obviously, right now, and then we're going to go through um, in subsequent episodes and pretty much see them painted and, and how I'd use them in battle and stuff, and maybe some example games as well. So having a look at here before us, um, this is a combination of two different types of miniatures or miniature companies. So the main one is uh, Pendragon, which is based in the UK. Now Pendragon have done the majority of the miniatures here, um, being these uh, the skeleton warriors here, the skeleton cavalry, uh, the archers, crossbowmen, chariots, uh, ballisters, bolt throwers, um, some of these lich priests like these ones and these ones, and the skull chuckers as well. And the second company is a company from Switzerland called uh, Sibos Little Dudes. And that's where I got the main monsters and characters. So I've got a Lich Priest here on a chariot. I've got the Bone Giant. Um, and I've also got this um, Tomb King, I guess, on um, Skeletal Dragon, which is pretty epic in itself. Um, those, these two miniatures in particular, um, I had to, because they're so heavy, because being the metal miniatures, and uh, so forward heavy, particularly the Dragon, I had to uh, pin, um, I drill holes in their feet and make custom metal bases out of a uh, 1.5 millimeter plate steel. And I made the bases, uh, drilled holes in them, put pins in their feet so they couldn't fall over. Uh, and I think that's it's going to make them pretty base heavy and stable. And that's, that's that was the idea with that. So I'm not 100 percent sure if they're in scale. I mean, they look really awesome um, at that size. Particularly the um, the bone giant looks really good. I think. Um, but yeah, he's, he is huge. I don't think the original one from Games Workshop was that big, but, um, I don't think it really matters. I don't think, uh, we'll see who knows. Um, but they're the actual miniatures companies that have produced them. So starting the army here, I've got, uh, four units. So four units of three and four deep there of, uh, skeleton warriors. These miniatures are quite cool. Um, you can have a look here. These Pendragon ones are fairly basic, um, but I think they kind of do the job. They're fairly like sort of naked skeletons, I guess. They don't have armor or anything, um, besides a couple of character models that they have in there. But I, I do like these. These are just all primed at the moment in Wraithbone because I'm going to be using some contrast and stuff on them. Um, so yeah, three units of those uh, to round uh, to start things off. Now with the Pendragon. Um, miniatures with the archers half of them are these guys so bowmen some of them have uh, shields on the back some of them don't pretty yeah pretty cool i don't mind those ones and then half of them are crossbowmen or crossbow skeletons i guess you'd say um, and that's what they look like there i'm not quite sure how skeletons can maintain crossbows and shoot them but hey doesn't really matter let's not think of the details it's fantasy um, now we're moving on here here's some of the skeleton horsemen from the range um, you know, look pretty cool, as I said again, like fairly naked, just skeletons with um, weapons on horses. Um, but I think at this scale, they'll they'll look really effective. I wasn't sure how many to put on uh, the actual basis of the the, um, the infantry models, but I just went with eight because it just seemed to fill in and look nice. 
Uh, now here's some of the chariots. Now these only came with one rider, but what I did is I had some extras from the uh, crossbows and spears and I, I put them on there. So that's the, uh, the chariots, there's four of those. They've got like a, this cool skull um, bit of the chariot there as well. Um, we've got some of my favorites, which are these um, skull chuckers. So it's like artillery. And these guys are uh, loading up and uh, shooting skulls, skeletal skulls. So that's interesting. And obviously this uh, catapult is made out of bone joints, uh, bones from a giant, which is interesting. Um, the other artillery option we've got for the Tomb Kings is we have these uh, bolt shooters, these baluster. Um, pretty cool models. I like the little skeletons standing around with the, the bolts. And this little fella directing. And this, I've got two units of those. I don't know if I can use the two units now that I bought them. Um, I think I could have over 2,000 points to do that. Um, now going on to the leader section, this is one from the Sibos little dude range and this is like a, a lich priest or something on a on a chariot. It's quite a cool model. Um, you know on par with the other ones, probably a little bit more detail slightly. And then those are the Pendraken ones. Um, these are a couple of like just uh, foot Lich uh, priests and stuff. So what we've got here is um, yeah, just like a necromancer kind of dude in this little tower of skulls, which I think is um, <laughs> pretty cool little little diorama. I guess they're mounted on um, just coins. And here's another one which I think it's sort of like these more look like um, sort of witches. I've made it like a base of witches, and that's my um, other leader option as well. Uh, the big leader option is this guy, and he is. A skeletal dragon <laughs> uh, with a tomb king on it. So the tomb king's up there with a lance. Skeletal dragon model's real epic. Like it's huge. Um, doesn't have a lot of detail, but um, it is just a skeleton, I guess. So I'll, I'll have to go to town on sort of the highlights and stuff on the bones to make it really pop. But I think with a model this big and this simple, I think it could look quite cool. Um, possibly my favourite model out of the ones we have, uh, this is from Sibos Little Dudes again, is this guy, the Bone Giant, and he is completely massive. Um, on all scales, when the Bone Club is wielding, just think of the giant that that one come off, because <laughs> it's bigger than him, really. So uh, fairly decent detail. I mean, it's fairly simple still, but it's um, I think it's effective. He's got like the little Tomb King goatee going on and the rags, so he's like a bit of a mummy type. And I've just scattered a few of these little skeletons across the bottom, just to sort of show the scale, and um, I think it makes for an interesting base feature for him as well. So those are my Tomb Kings. Like I said, that's the, um, the army as it stands. The only units that I don't really have at the moment are the Carrion, uh, which I'm planning on getting a few bases of, um, and also the Sphinx, which is a really interesting model, um, and seems to have, like, really good rules. I think um, now having having like seen the rules, I sort of bought these before actually looking into it as much as I could. Um, probably should have got a few more because I really this is about fifteen hundred points here. I was hoping to get to two thousand, but it's not quite going to get there. But fifteen hundred points is um, quite reasonable and respectable uh, for a game anyway. Um, but yeah, that Sphinx and the Carrion are the only two models I'm sort of missing from the range, and I'll, I'll definitely get those. I think. The standout units, from what I hear and looking at the stats, are uh, the, um, the chariots. They're really good. They can shoot. Um, they've got good movement um, and good attacks as well. Uh, some of the artillery can be handy. Skeletons are pretty much just chaff. Um, and the bone, uh, the bone giant and sphinx are really good. Um, and the magic is good. Like You can raise dead. You can do all the th sort of things you'd think you could do um, with a necromantic kind of army. Um, but that could be quite interesting too, because you can bring on full units of skeletons, like um, in a turn. Like if you can raise dead in a in a current battle, you can bring on a whole unit of three of these guys, um, and then you can place them, you know, charged within the flanks of the enemy and stuff. So that, that that's quite powerful. I kind of like that idea of being able to just keep resurrecting troops and and going. So that's kind of why I went with this army. I'll have more of a tactical breakdown of this um, in in subsequent episodes when I do a little bit more play testing with these guys. Um, but for now, I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, this is my new Tomb Kings army for Warham Warmaster uh, Revolution. If you like this content, yeah, please subscribe, please like, uh, comment, share, all those things. And we thank you heaps for your time. Thank you heaps for your continued support. Um, my name is Lucius. This is War HQ, and we're signing out.